what's going on guys, I'm back with a new series of videos repairing the Razer CX 2.4GHz helicopter. This is a really quite expensive and powerful helicopter that I got about a year ago and it has had a bit of a tough time actually. Um, we've crashed it about twice but because of its kind of power it ripped itself apart the second time. So I'm just going to show you what, is, what this helicopter has gone through. Well as you can see this helicopter is so huge I can hardly fit in the frame of my camera without showing you my whole bedroom. Um, it, is, it is a really nice helicopter, it's made of mostly aluminium and carbon fibre um, and I was really excited when I got this. It's made by a com company called Sentry who make really quite high quality um, aeroplanes, helicopters and I think boats as well. Um, yeah, and <laughs> lovely standing on my Land Rover cup there. So I'm going to take off, or carefully take off the uh, the front cover. It's relatively light. It's not. This is definitely not one of your fiddly little brakes. Well, I suppose. Um, this isn't like a really cheap helicopter you get for your birthday and use a couple of times because um, you can get all the spare parts of this. So you can see it has a a very sturdy uh, carbon fibre frame if you just spin the camera around. Um, it has all these struts going through it like that and two, it's hard to see actually, sorry, two um, huge big motors here. They're about that big which is really big for a helicopter, I think. Um, and they power the twin um, set of rotor blades. This means it is, um, they they run counter, well one runs counterclockwise and one runs clockwise, which means that um, you get twice the lifting power and you don't need, uh, you don't need this. This has it, um, just for show, it exists spin, it's got a little motor, um, but you don't actually need it to control the helicopter. All done with the two rotor blades, or four actually, but yeah. So on top you can see the um, the pivoting system, we have a servo here and a servo on the other side. And they control the movement of the just the bottom one, but because of the way um, the What's the word? I've forgotten the word, but the way it works, um, this does move as well with the bottom rotor blades. Right, yeah, so the word is geometry, that's, that's what I was looking for. And um, so, with the air pressure and just air flow, this will move pretty much the same as the bottom one. So what has this helicopter gone through? Um, well, I got it and I had a very quick flavour in the house, which is fine. And then we took it outside, and I think, yeah, what happened was, we took it outside, and um, it was going to the wind was blowing it near the, near the car, and my dad was there, and um, so I just dropped it really quickly, but it did smash the well, it didn't smash, but it it broke the poorly made uh, landing gear on it because it had um, it was aluminium, but the plastic surrounding it split but it was very thin and that didn't really work so we could glue it but we're actually gonna we could I we could either glue it or we could buy new landing gear but I think we'll probably be able to get away with gluing it. Um the battery stopped charging and the charger didn't work. So it's it's quite fiddly little components. Um so we're gonna buy a new battery. It is a lithium polymer eleven point one volts. I think it's 1300 milliamp hour. I'm going to buy a new one for I think it's 17 pounds from Century and a new charge which is 19 pounds. And that's it's like a little um, little plastic box that charges it, but that's, they're quite expensive pieces of equipment to get the spare parts for. Um, I think the second time we broke it, this is very very um, very close together these crashes. A second time we fixed it, and the controller, or the controller, uh, I'll get it in a second, it wasn't set up right, 
so that when we turned it on it had these different moods and when we turned it on it span up the helicopter it went straight into a wall and actually cut into the wall about a centimetre or so because it's really um, really sharp blades on it and it completely severed this aluminium rod off so that's the new part as well <laughs> yes yeah, so it's quite dangerous but this is a professional or advanced helicopter um, and you get this for around £200 from Sentry I think the prices vary a bit but I think it's around £200 and up here we have the gyroscope and that have, that's plastic weights just to keep the weight down in general and that will spin and it will help you control it but as you can see the components are sorry I might need to focus so as you can see the components are really nice quality um, it's really meant to last this thing and it does but just the power of it will break it if you crash it um, I was going to get the controller but I don't know where it is at the moment it's a really nice again aluminium design um, big thick controller for it and it's I think it's a four channel controller um, and this is a four, a four channel helicopter so you get um, up and down, then you get rotational movement, which is normal. But the extra channel that you get with more expensive helicopters, like you um, tilt it forward, tilt it backwards to make it go forwards and backwards, and tilt it sideways. So you can really, it's basically got all the functions um, movement wise of a real helicopter. So Hopefully in the next video we'll have the components for it installed. I'm not going to install it on video because I'll probably mess it up. Um, my dad will help me with that. And yeah, it'll probably be um, repaired, hopefully completely. And I might have some, well I will have some videos um, of it flying. And I think that'll be a nice little kind of series we could, we could do on my channel. So if you think that's a good idea, thumbs up, like the video, um, tell me if you think it's a good idea. And I'll do a lot more on this. And so thank you very much for watching my video, and remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye. We love, we hate, we stay.